Welcome to the Tango Nada behind the scenes. Tango Nada, Nada. What should we go with? Just in order? Chronological, right? That's probably useful. That's probably order, useful, yeah. isn't it? What okay. actually wants to learn something. So, it's not going to play too much, is it? Boom. And then you just bring it back down. Sully, that. Play. Is incredibly mm -hmm. simple for how great it sounds. I can't play piano, so please don't judge that. <laughs> no, it's more just interesting how simple it is, isn't it? It's, it's, it's actually interesting how the simplicity is what works better, isn't it? Two chords, the whole song. Literally, it works. It's so much easier to listen to in a way. And then we added this here. Wait, really Sonny, cool. do you play all of those? Yeah. No, sorry, that's a lie. I played one and then just copied and pasted. Sunny! But then, like, I changed the sound, if that makes sense. But why is layer? Because we found this out quite a lot recently, isn't it? Why layering the chords is good sometimes, rather than, like, putting all your hopes in one sound. It just gives a bit of body. I don't know how to explain. Like, this on its own. Like, it's nice and all, it just sounds a bit, like, blunt. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't help that I'm shit at playing piano as well. Sunny, so, don't put yourself down. <laughs> when you add that with, like, a softer one. Gives it a bit more space, a bit more air. Found these. Gross. Those are well Such interesting. A sick sound. And they like start there and then go to that speaker and then come back and all that sort of stuff. Circulating. Circulating? I don't know. It sounds like it's going around your head basically. That sounds about right. Circulating, yeah. And then. Then we added this like. I've called it a kalimba, I don't know if it is a kalimba. Chlamydia? That we added chlamydia to it, <laughs> and she sounded like this. Just makes you feel like you're on holiday a little bit, I think. Running away from mice. Yeah. I have two fears in life: space and mice slash rats. Wait, what do you mean slash rats? Is it like is it mice and rats, or is it if there was a mouse and a rat, you'd have to decide which one? No, fuck that. You get them off. I'm running from both. <laughs> so once we had that. How do you explain it? It needed to like drop down for the verse, but we didn't want it to just sound empty. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Oh, they're nice, they are. The drums are quite cool for this, I'm not gonna lie. I like them. Whoa, that's a lot of drums. There's some shakers, some claps, some kicks, you know. You can hear what it's doing. It's like dancing. Which is pretty fat. Sunny with that. And that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> Boomy, we like booms. Get that. So anyway, um, <laughs> so once we got that in, we were like, yeah, okay, this is pretty cool now, because by this point we had this. Oh, yeah. Moment of silence. This is actually my favourite instrument in the whole thing. On the very last chorus, to just make it sound a little bit bigger, we added this organ. Wow! Just like rings at the top. <laughs> That's what I think of when I hear organ. I think of some guy going like, you know? Oh, this is nice. And it's sunny. We went El Spanglioso. Why did we do that? It was the chords, because they're not really too like, they don't make me feel massively kind of, I don't know. Around. Like I'm on holiday or nothing. They're oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. But like, they're not like, wow, so summery or nothing like that. <laughs> well, we were like, West Can't Fry Dears, thinking of hooks and stuff. And I was like, do you know what, that guy is singing. He actually sounds a bit like he's saying something in Spanish, tengo nada, which means I've got nothing. We were like, yo, moment. Mm. Chorus, it's just tengo nada over and over again. That's it, genius. Tengo nada, nada, nada. Simple, we didn't want to overthink it. <laughs> no, in all seriousness though, sometimes you can really like overthink shit and like, 
But that's what I did initially with the um Please don't talk on a green eye, no you way too much It was like, oh that's quite a cool chorus And then the more we would listen to it, the more it was like Now it works as like an intro or something, or maybe mid late, but like the actual chorus is just da, 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 mm -hmm. da, da, da. And then it was like, yeah, go Spanish And we just googled stuff and found lyrics That's so a lie, when he says we What he means is Rice speaks Spanish And I googled things while Rice essentially just wrote the song in Spanish <laughs> And I sat there on my phone pretending to know Spanish <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then we, actually we did have this little you know, back to the boy band days, I suppose. Little harm moment, little stack here at the end. God, we'll play them a cappella, why not? I want la, 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 la. Boom. Nice. It's a nice one. It's a fun, nice one. You get yourself over to Spotify or Apple Music or whichever you prefer, and you type in feats. Yep. And then you go into feats, and then you find yourself Tango Nada. Not even likes it. What a wanker. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> or the other one. Oh shit. And then. <laughs> you're still, you're still stuck on a green light. And then you enjoy yourself. You Who's the nerd out of us? Neither of us are cool. Look at us. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Necesito mi amor. Hey. Yeah. Por favor. And that is how we made Tango Nada. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. And leave some comments actually, because they do drive engagement. <laughs> <laughs>